To me, personally, Porsche is the ultimate. That's it. Conditions now really getting very bad. There are 67 Sportwagen and Gran Turismo Fahrzeuge on start. And there it is, just 10 laps to go. It's the ultimate car, it's the ultimate car to look at, to drive, to race, the reliability, the comfort, the resale value. That's just the ultimate. 23 hours and 56 minutes. Porsche's 956 cars start their last round in 1 2 3 order. It was a Porsche race all the way, with Porsches taking first to eighth and writing another great page in racing history at Le Mans. Porsche has won Le Mans for the 16th time. You know, there's just something about Porsche that really got me from the beginning. The, the passion that they bring, you know, they're just always, you know, aspiring to be the best um, and delivering. It is the best, uh, the most innovative and uh, the car that is built to last. It's because they're all such beautifully designed and made cars and they have such an impressive racing pedigree. They're just made to go and go and go, whether it's on roads or if you want to take them on the racetrack. And I think that's something that sets them apart from a lot of the other luxury brands that are out there. So my love affair with Porsche started when I was very young in uh, 1962 and I was travelling with my parents through Europe in a bus and three white Porsches went by and they were police Porsches, white with a blue flashing light and the police actually allowed us to sit, very young kids. So from that day on, um, the rest is history. Today, when you drive down the street in the 911, kids, little kids, nine-year-olds, 10-year-olds, they all go, oh, look, look, it's a 911. But it's not that flashy business. It's, it's, it's respect for the car, for what it is. Thanks. I'll see you in about 20 years. So Porsche Center Willoughby started originally as Scuderia Veloce Motors. It was started in 1962, a long time ago, by a gentleman called Bob Atkin and his journalist colleague David Mackay started the business in Taramara in the north shore of Sydney. So Bob Atkin went to the motor show in 1969 where he met with the importers of Porsche and they offered him the franchise to become the Porsche dealer if he bought the three cars that were on the stand. And these three cars were 911s. He promptly wrote a cheque and became a dealer. And that's where it all started. In 1983, Mr. Laurie Sutton came and bought the business for the Sutton family. In 1991, we built Porsche Sender Willoughby, basically as it is today. So people could just come and drive and look and talk Porsche instead of have to be involved with other franchises. And that's, of course, how we are today. I've been a client of PCW for getting on to 20 years now. I've probably been a client of PCW since uh, the early 80s. Uh, I bought a new 928S. I first started with a Boxster, and then after that a Boxster S, and then after that C4S. Each time I was thinking, wow, this car is amazing, can't get any better than this. In fact, Sean Ligo was the guy who actually back then sold me that, uh, that particular car. And I think he's probably been involved in the background with what could be a dozen sales uh, since that early experience. Porsche is the, the benchmark, it's the, it's the icon, it's the, it's the absolute top and it's what everybody thinks of as a child is you think of a 911. In my collection there are probably 10 Porsches today. The most recent addition to that collection has been my GT3 Touring which is a fabulous car. But in the collection uh, I have some of the more iconic Porsches. This is the pick of the bunch, this is my 
1973 2.7 RS Carrera. It is my little baby, it is my pride. I've had a long history with this car. It's competed in many, many rally style events, including uh, six times the East Coast Classic. So people come to us because our staff have been with us for a long time. So apart from my 27 years, um, our managers have been there for 10 years, 12 years. I have technicians that have worked there for 28 years. When a customer comes into Porsche in Willoughby, we treat them as a friend. Everybody looks after each other like a true family. But we don't pressure. We're not a pressure pot selling machine. And I think that's, that's what people enjoy. Yeah, family would be the word that I would describe in terms of it's not a situation where someone says, yes, we've done a deal and, they, and you bolt out the door. Customers call in um, when they're passing just for a coffee. You know, they, they feel welcome here. They want to come here. And, you know, they've become our friends, our family. It's, it's more about an experience than just on a, doing a transaction. Porsche Centre Willoughby run fantastic drive days and social events and I think they do a really good job. You know, the drive days to the Hunter Valley become a, a massive feature for us. Um, they've got a great reputation amongst our customers um, and new clientele as well. the only place where you can actually feel the nuances of the machinery and how, how subtly different they are. I'm just, as you can see from my smile, I'm absolutely adoring it. It's really where I started with my passion for motor racing, so as far as a after sales lifestyle, it's just absolutely awesome. We do feel as though we're part of the family. Some days I don't get the opportunity to go out there and spend the whole day, but you know, just going out there and meeting clients for, for lunch and seeing the smile on their face, it's, it's fantastic. Well, 50 years is a milestone because we have so much history now, so we're not that far behind Porsche themselves. You know, they celebrated just recently 70 years. It's, it's an achievement. So if you go the next 50 years with Porsche, it's going to be very, very exciting. Porsche have demonstrated that in terms of leading the world, they are there and that's not going to change. In the next 10 years, we will see in the motor industry alone more change than in the last 50 years. We will see electric cars, autonomous cars, and for Porsche, uh, we're there. We have the Taycan coming in 2020. We have confidence that Porsche will still make the driving experience uh, an exceptional experience. Porsche owners will continue uh, to embrace the excitement that comes with owning a Porsche. It'll be ahead of the pack like it always is.